his greetings. And I forgot, please forgive me, my wife Dorothy Nyomo, who happens to be the first lady of Kusumo County, sent her sincere greetings to the church. She could come with me. Kuruwako. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Asante ni sana. Uh, you are Lordship the Bishop uh, and the Church. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. <laughs> now, uh, I would just, uh, first of all, want to thank the church for uh, allowing the celebration of the 30th anniversary since the demise of my uh, dear father, Yaramogi Oginga Odinga. This is a great gesture because Jaramogi sincerely believed that this church should be built to be one of the best in the whole country. And he was one of the founders of this uh, cathedral. He contributed immensely to it. And I'm very happy that my brother Raila also continued and donated the tiles for this uh, very, very gracious. Uh, cathedral. Uh, secondly, uh, I would like to uh, just uh, reveal to the congregation that we, as a family, are Anglicans. We believe in the Anglican Church. We were baptized in the Anglican Church. I was baptized in the Anglican Church together with my brother in Maseno in 1948, if I'm not wrong. But since then, I have been struggling to be confirmed <laughs> to take the... And after almost 80 years, on my 80th anniversary, I was finally confirmed and now this was my second day to take that, the, the, the wine. And the... So I'm very, very happy, uh, Bishop. Uh, in fact, the Bishop had offered to confirm me, but because of time and, uh, and uh, other engagements, I was not able to come earlier, Bishop. But finally, Bishop uh, uh, Professor Kodia did it. Thank you very much, uh, the church, for this. Uh, finally, I just want to uh, tell my, I mean, just express my concern about the situation in my country. The situation in this country is so bad because the leadership of this country has decided to deep themselves in corruption and therefore whatever they do even if they raise taxes to whatever level they will never be able to collect revenue to offer services to this country peter knows that when we came to power when we were with president kibaki one of the first things we did was to reduce tax levels and then you expand the tax base. And then you seal all the loopholes for corruption. And once you do that, there will be sufficient money to serve the country and give money and, and serve all your debts faithfully. But Ruto is not able to serve, service his debt. He is borrowing money to serve his debt. How do you borrow money? in order to service a debt, you should raise that money in order to service debt. And then you are creating unemployment, people are closing businesses, and unemployment is increasing in this country by the day. It is a very, very explosive situation. Because it cannot continue like that forever. And I'm telling you, this is not because he is not aware. He is aware. But he is unable 
because he himself is dipped in corruption that's all so thank you very much uh, uh, thank you very much mr mwa flag clap please